We all know Full Metal Alchemist. Whether you've seen it as the 2003 anime, which is its own plot, the 2009 series Brotherhood, or maybe you've just seen it through the manga itself, most of, if not all of you, have seen, read, or heard of Full Metal Alchemist. Right now, it is the second highest ranked anime on the My Anime List website, and it's widely known as one of, if not the best, anime of all time. But does it hold up over a decade after its release? So, for this video, I rewatched all of Brotherhood and read the entire manga. And the answer that I came up with, if you just want the short version, is kind of. And if you want to know the explanation about how I got there, just keep watching. So, I say kind of because it's very easy to get bored of it if you've already seen it before. Full Metal Alchemist is a very dialogue heavy show and manga. It's not Dragon Ball Z where the plot is just average and the fights are what stand out. Full Metal Alchemist's story is what is front and center with the fights just being an incredible bonus. So I can see how someone might not be as engaged on rewatch for specific parts of the story. But at the same time, the fights are still just as incredible as when I watched them the first time. Mustang vs. Lust, Ed and Ling vs. Envy, Everyone vs. Father, Ed and Everyone Else vs. Pride, all of them still managed to suck me in as much as they did when I first saw them. Now, does the series hold up for a new viewer in 2022? Once again, the short answer here is maybe. This, however, is for an entirely separate reason. I say maybe here because it's completely dependent on how they got to know of the show's existence. Most of the time, when people are recommending anime, they recommend it with the mindset of the ending being amazing, not stopping to consider what it took to get to that amazing ending. Take Death Note for example. The ending is amazing in both the anime and the manga, but you have to basically suffer through the near arc to get there. Same with something big like Naruto. The beginning of the series might be a little bit slow until you get to the first arc, and then it slows a little bit farther back down again until you get to the tuning exams, and then it slows a lot farther back down after that until you get to the fight with Naruto and Sasuke. A lot of people, they only think about the end of the show. They're only thinking about that big climactic fight and not all the episodes of story that it takes to get there. So if you recommend a show to someone and you hype it up to an ungodly level, they'll think it's a 10 out of 10 from the start. And when in say episode 6, it doesn't meet that 10 out of 10 expectation, they're going to naturally be disappointed and they could just end up dropping it. So in my opinion, it's entirely dependent on how they heard about it. If they just read something that said that it was really good, or maybe if one of their friends just said, oh yeah, you should watch it, it's pretty amazing, then yeah, it'll hold up. But does it do anything super different than other anime that are out there nowadays? Not really. Supernatural Enemy, Fantasy Powers, the MC is a Kid, etc. What it does do differently though, is it tells a story that can be interpreted in many different ways. You can have four people sit down and watch it and they'll all have a different takeaway from the series and its characters. Whether you're looking at it from a psychological standpoint, a philosophical standpoint, a symbolic standpoint, or hell, even from a religious standpoint from time to time, no one is going to have the same experience with the show. That is what Full Metal Alchemist does differently. You can turn on something new like My Dress Up Darling or My Hero Academia, and the only different thought that people would have is which character is their favorite, or if they even like the series at all. Full Metal is just an amazing series that can be viewed through several different lenses and have nearly everyone have a completely different understanding of the series as a whole. So in conclusion, yes, I do think Full Metal Alchemist does hold up to the test of time and it most definitely deserves its spot in the highest ranked and most popular series ever created. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're still here, make sure to hit me up on all my social medias. The links are in the description below. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video.